Hi, and welcome to Math Girls. Today's lesson is on division. First, let's look at the parts of a division problem. Here's a real division problem. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. And there are three parts to this problem. The first part, which is the 8, is called the dividend. The second part is called the divisor. And the answer, which is the third part, is called the quotient. But these terms are kind of hard to understand, so let's try to make it a little bit easier. Now here we have the same division problem. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. But we can categorize the parts differently. The 8 is the number of things. The 2 is the number of groups. And the answer, 4, is the number of things in each group. So, if we have eight things, and we put the eight things into two different groups, we will have four things in each group. So, eight divided by two equals four. Let's try a problem now. All right, let's start with our first division problem. Now, in this problem, there are two sisters, and they're fighting over six M&Ms. Their parents say, that they have to share the M&Ms equally. So how can we solve this problem? By using division. So what's the first step we need to take? Do you remember what the first part of a division problem is? Things. So what are the things in this problem? The things are the M&Ms, right? So the first thing we need to do is count the number of things we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six M&Ms. So in the number of things box, we will put six. What's the next part of the problem? Things divided by groups. So how many groups are the M&Ms going into? You and your sister. So that's one, two groups. So we can write two in the second box. Now, the next step is to separate these things into the two groups. Here's one M&M for you and one M&M for your sister. Here's another M&M for you and another M&M for your sister. Here's one last M&M for you, and one last M&M for your sister. Now, are there any M&Ms left? No, it looks like we've got them all. So now, we have to find the answer, which is the number of things per group. So let's count how many M&Ms you have and how many M&Ms your sister has. You have one, two, three M&Ms. And your sister has one, two, three M&Ms. That means there's three M&Ms per group. And we can put three in the last box. Now, both the sisters have their M&Ms and they're happy. And you solved a division problem. Six divided by two equals three. Here's one last problem to help you learn about division. 9 divided by 3 equals something. So how do we figure this problem out? Well, like last time, we can use something like M&Ms. So let's just draw dots. Okay, here I have drawn 9 dots. So now what we have to do is separate them into three different groups. I'm going to circle each circle with a different color to represent a different group. Group one, group two, and group three. Now, I can circle some more. One more for group red, one more for group orange, and one more for group yellow. 
Now, do I have enough more to put into three groups? Well, I have three more, so it seems like it. One more for red, one more for orange, and one more for yellow. So now, let's count how many are in each group. There are one, two, three for red, one, two, three for orange, and one, two, three for yellow. So nine divided by three is three. Thanks for watching. That's all the division I have for you today. But if you tune in soon, you can watch more Math Girls videos.